YouTube, what's going on? It's Kyle again from ePool Supply. Back again today with a quick fix video for you guys on Hayward's Pool Vac V Flex. This version is actually meant for vinyl pools, but this will actually work for the concrete versions as well. Stay tuned, we're gonna dive in and show you guys how to fix this thing. All right, guys, and we're back. So again, today we've got some quick fix videos for you guys on Hayward's Pullback V-Flex. This is their vinyl version. If you guys have seen some of our previous videos on the cleaner already, that'll kind of give you guys an explanation on what makes it a vinyl liner cleaner. Um, if you guys want to see those videos, make sure you guys check out the links in the description below. We'll actually have all those available in a playlist down there for you guys so you guys can watch how we got where we're at right now. For today's video, I want to show you guys how to actually remove the pods on the sides of your A-frame kit here that you got. This is basically like the lower portion of the cleaner that would be removed from the main body. So once you guys have actually taken this off, now you guys can actually replace these pods. These pods also normally have the wings attached, and then when you flip it over, they'll normally have your feet, um, the the whichever material that you guys are using. In this case, since it was vinyl, it's the like corkboard style shoes. So I'm gonna show you guys actually how to completely take these off. So one major reason that you guys will wanna remove this is if you need to get access to the A-frame kit itself, you will need to remove the pods first. Otherwise, if the pods have cracked or you're having issues with the feet not actually sticking into the bottom, you'll need to actually replace the whole pod to make sure it works. Another thing is if your wing set is not sticking on and these little plastic pieces on the side have eventually worn and snapped off, Again, it's already pre-attached to the pod, so you'll need to replace the pod kit itself. So only tool that you'll need is just basically a small socket. So in this case, I have the end of my screwdriver just using that piece. So where you would normally put your, your bit in, it's just that driver size. Um, and then I use a small flathead screwdriver just to help get these caps off on the side. So first thing that you're looking at here is they do have caps right here. You'll see them located on each side. Use that little screwdriver. If you can grab it with your fingernails, by all means, please do, but didn't feel like breaking a fingernail. So go ahead and snap both of those out for you. And then if you'll see now with doing that, you guys have actually gained access. There is a bolt head screw in there. So that's where I'm gonna use my actual socket driver here and go ahead and remove that. So again, this has to get removed in order to be able to get the pods off as well as get access into the A-frame kit itself. So go ahead and remove these see it's a non-driver screw so there's actually meant to be a hole there for it so that's why that can come right out and then I'll go ahead and remove the other side fortunately couldn't use my ratchet screwdriver because the end was too big to fit into this section so bada bang so now from there now you got to kind of gently pull these out Give me a second. So there are two steps to this. One, you're going to want to make sure that you're removing the screw in the middle as well. So then that way it just gives you the extra push. So go ahead and remove that. That's basically a cap onto these um, big white A-frame pieces that you see here. So give me a second. Wiggle it out. It's a brand new cleaner, so it's a lot tighter on here than typically if you guys were doing this at home. So obviously yours should come out a lot easier than mine. So make sure you get to actually. There it goes. So it's just kind of pressure fit in there. So like I said, this is just tough because this is a brand new cleaner, has never been used, but it does have its own little nice spot in there that. Um, the, the little axle part of the A-frame kit actually slides right into there and pressure fits in there. So there's your two pods. And then again, since I've actually removed the cap, we'll dive into more on your A-frame kit after because there are a few additional pieces that you guys will need to remove to get more access into the A-frame kit. But essentially this will allow you guys to take these pods off Buy new ones. Again, we'll have the links available in the description for you guys where you guys can come directly to the website to purchase these pods. They do not come included with the shoes. So if you need new shoes, you're going to have to purchase those separately as well. But this will actually get you a whole new pod with new uh, wing set uh, 
plastic pieces on the side. So then that way, when you guys are ready, you guys can just pop these on and get everything put back together. So again, just want to show you guys a quick fix on how to remove the pods off your Hayward pullback V flex. This will also work with most of the similar cleaners for the Hayward line that, that operate with this same A-frame kit. So we'll have some more links available in the description for you guys to visit the website and see all those options for you. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. We're going to have a ton more videos coming your way on this cleaner as well as other cleaners out there on the market. So until then, I'm Kyle from Pool Supply, and we'll see you next time.